you can create an invitation and make a mail merge where you can customize each invitation and personalize it. So to start, you want to look for the topics so and you want to look for any kind of invitation. We've got event menus, flyers, we have thank you cards. And here is a birthday invitation or you can look for even more if you don't like that. So up here you can type in invitation. There are 152 options to choose from. Find something that you like. Choose create. Think of a way you can personalize it, where you can add their name somewhere. So maybe instead of your presence, you could put their name here. So I'm going to delete that word right there. And we're going to start a mail merge at this point. So we're going to go to mailings, start mail merge, and I'm going to choose the wizard. I'm going to choose letters next then over here I'm going to say use current document now it asks well where are you going to get the list of people so the people are going to be inviting to this wedding or birthday party if you have a list already typed up you can go to browse if you have your outlook contacts linked you can do that I'm going to choose type a new list and create since I don't have a list and this is where you can add in the people that you need to invite to this event. You can also adjust which items are going to show up here in this list. So we may not need all of this information that's showing up so we can customize the columns and add or remove the things that we want for this invitation. So I'm really um, not going to need their work phone so I could delete that. And I'm not going to need their home phone. I can delete that. And once you get this all set the way you want, start entering in your people. Type in their name and all the other information that you need. Save it someplace that you can find it. And then just choose next, write your letter. You have the option to sort your list or filter your list at this point. Now it asks you to insert any of these items. Well, I don't want their address in there. I don't need to greet them, so I might choose more items here. And I'm going to want to insert their first name. So I click on it and choose Insert. And it's added a little field there where I can insert their name. You can even choose to format this if you want their name to stand out so that they can see that they've you've personalized this in some way so I'll put their name there and I'll bold it and we're gonna need it to have an apostrophe s I can go ahead and add that hit next preview your letters and you'll see that it says bride and groom across the honor of Bob's presence I'm gonna need to go back though and make sure that I format that to be read as well. And had I filled in all the rest of this, you'll now see I've done a mail merge and personalized. If I had multiple, you would see all of my other invitations popping up. Right here it says recipient one. I could click the next arrow to see the additional recipients. If it looks correct, you can say complete the merge and it will show you all of the items merged and you can choose to print it or edit individual letters.